So hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for attending. Um, uh, welcome uh, to the last session of uh, today of the FM conference. The session is uh, dedicated to um, automata of uh, various kinds. And the first uh, talk uh, will be given by uh, Yong Li from the Chinese Academy of Sciences on uh, congruence relations for uh, Buke automata. Please. Okay, thank you for the introduction. This is joint work with Yi Kun Tsai, Andrea Turini, Mishwari, and Li Jun Zhang. So, sorry. Why are con congruence relations are so important in formal methods? Because they are widely used in many aspects, like such as the complementation of non-determinist Bush automata, or MBAs for short, and the universality and inclusion checking for MBAs and the automata theoretic verification framework. And what are congruence relations? They are in fact a type of equivalence relations uh, with respect to a given language. And so they can form a finite partition of the finite words. And we in this in this talk, we also consider a coarser congruence, coarser equivalence relation than congruence relation. That is right congruences. Right congruences are used in my here narrow theorem for constructing minimal DFA from regular languages. And here, right congruences, right congruences are sufficient for classifying finite words, but for infinite words. Congruence relations have to be used to classify infinite words with respect to a given omega regular language L. We need the congruence relation to satisfy the following saturation lemma. First, we need to cover the whole set of infinite words sigma omega. And then we we cannot put together the infinite words uh, that are distinguished by L. That is, uh, the set of language is either inside L or outside L. In this way, we also can obtain a finite partition of sigma omega. And thus, we obtain a way to get the complement language of L by taking infinite words that are outside L. And to, um, to get better congruence relations for MBAs, we made the following contributions. We propose the improved congruence relations than the classical one, which can be exponentially tighter on some family of MBAs, but it has still has the same complexity as the classical one that is three to the power n squared. Here, n is the number of states in, in the given MBA. We then propose optimal congruence relations with complexity two to the m log n. Finally, we connect MBAs to a new type of omega automata called family of determinist finite automata with our congruence relations. In fact, in this way, we can obtain, to the best of our, our knowledge, the first direct and optimal translation from MBAs to FDFAs. To introduce our congruence relations, we start with the classical ones. And here, two words are equivalent under the congruence relation if and only if they cannot be distinguished by the reachability information over every pair of states over the two words, including the visits to accepting states. And this classical congruence relation also satisfy the, satisfies the aforementioned saturation lemma, including the coverage and the saturation properties. And also, the number of equivalence classes 
induced by this congruence relation is three to the power n square. Here, n square is due to the fact that we have uh, n square pair of states. Our first insight to improve the classical congruence relation is that we do not have to consider all pairs of states because instead we can just consider all states that reachable from the initial state in the pairs. And also we observe that there are a type of infinite words called ultimately periodic words which consists of a finite prefix and an infinite repeat of a finite word called a periodic word. And it's known that ultimate periodic words are sufficient to characterize Omega regular language. So our second insight is that we do not have to use the same congruence relation for both prefixes and periodic words. Instead, we can use different relations for them. And this also allows us to use right congruences rather than congruence relations because right congruences are closer relations than congruence relations. And in our improved congruence relations for the finite prefix, two words are equivalent if and only if uh, they give the same set of reachable states. And for the periodic words, two words are equivalent. We impose the uh, same reachability restriction over the pair of states, except that the first state Q has to be reachable from the initial state over the given prefix U. And you can see that here, every prefix congruence, uh, equivalence class U corresponds to a uh, right congruence for the periodic words. So um, we actually get a family of right congruences. And our improved congruences or family of right congruences also satisfy the aforementioned saturation lemma. And we also have better complexity results. Here, we prove that our family of right congruences can be exponentially tighter on some family of MBAs. And especially for determinist Bush automata, the complexity is even quadratic. But in general, we have the same worst case complexity. To improve the worst case complexity, we need to find out why there's the n square exponent. And we found out that this is because there are n possible predecessors of a given state R over the word V in the, in the periodic right congruence. And our insight to improve the complexity is that we can introduce another preorder on the predecessors of R and only choose the maximal equivalence class of the uh, induced by the preorder. And in this way, we only have one predecessor for each given state R over the word we. And the complexity then reduces to two to the power n log n. We also have the saturation lemma. And similarly, for determinist Bush automata, our family of right congruences has quadratic blow up. And in general, we prove that our family of right congruences are optimal. And as our third contribution, we would like to connect NBAs to FDFAs, but we first will introduce what are FDFAs. Um, in for to accept an an infinite word, we in a, in an FDFA we have a leading DFA for processing the prefixes, and for each state in the leading DFA we have a progress DFA to accept periodic words, 
For instance, on the right hand side, the FDFA accepts the Omega regular language sigma star B Omega. To accept the ultimately periodic word A B B Omega, we the FDFA will first use the leading DFA M to pro process the prefix AB, which relates to the state S1, and jump to the progress DFA NS1 of S1, and then uh, use this progress DFA to accept the periodic word B. Now we are ready to connect MBAs to FDFAs. Sim as we have already mentioned, my hair narrow theorem uses uh, right congruences to accept uh, to construct a minimal DFA uh, for regular languages. Similarly, we can construct an FDFA from our family of right congruences. We can first construct the leading DFA from the prefix right congruence, and for each equivalence class of the prefix right congruence, we can construct a pre progress DFA from, from the periodic right congruence. And in fact, in this way, we obtain a Mahir narrow like theorem for MBAs, which actually gives us, to the best of our knowledge, the first direct and optimal translation from MBAs to FDFAs. To summarize the talk, we improved the classical cl congruence relations by taking into account the reachability over states, which although ha has the same complexity, but still can be exponentially tighter on some family of MBAs. We further propose optimal congruence relations by adding another pre-order on, on the states. Finally, we connect MBAs to FDFAs and give a Mahir narrow theorem for MBAs. And this is, a, uh, in fact, uh, the first direct and optimal translation from MBAs to FDFAs. As future work, we would like to see whether we can obtain better complementation algorithms with our family of right congruences. And as aforementioned, um, classical congruence relations are used in the inclusion checking for MBAs. And we would like to see whether our improved family of right congruences can be applied to it. Finally, we would like to see whether uh, we can obtain a better model checking framework based on FDFAs instead of MBAs. That's all for my talk. Thank you. Thank you very much for the nice presentation. Uh, so are there some questions in the audience? We have time for a, a number of questions. So I'm, I'm going to start with a first uh, question. So um, you speak about, um, uh, you present um, complexity results uh, improved uh, um, for, uh, for the new uh, congruence relations. Uh, can you say something about the corresponding minimization algorithms uh, for uh, uh, Buki Automata, for instance? Oh, as, as you may know, um, there's no algorithm for, well, determinate. Um, the optimal algorithm for minimizing Bush automata, or there's no canonical form for Bush automata, right? Um, but for our FDFAs, actually, um, they they are uh, they are optimal, I, I think, because because we we have a uh, my here narrow theorem, like like theorem for MBAs. I I don't know whether this answers your question. Can you can you repeat your question again? Yes. Well, so the the word minimization was not appropriate. It, uh, I was thinking about reduction. Uh, uh, oh, reduction. That can be applied on uh, Buki Automata in order to uh, uh, improve the performance of uh, model checking. And uh, a related question would be. Um, 
how these results would uh, impact uh, the classical uh, uh, verification uh, uh, for LTL properties, which is based on a uh, book automata translation. I see. Actually here, um, for LTL, I, if you, you mean LTL model checking, actually I don't think our algorithm will impact on this because you don't have to complement Bush automata. You, when you perform LTL model checking, you can just negate uh, the LTL formula and it's easier. And then you uh, take the model, the, the product of the model and the Bush automata of the negation of the formula. And then you check the emptiness. But in like, if you, uh, if you specify you, the, if you give the specification as a Bush automaton, then the model checking algorithm uh, problem reduces to the inclusion checking uh, problem for MBAs. And in this, in this problem, I think our algorithm will improve the, the algorithm, model checking algorithm. Okay, okay, thank you. So are there other questions uh, from the audience? If not, uh, we can uh, thank the speaker again. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so we can, uh, we can move to the next uh, presentation of the session.